Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I have something very excited to share with you guys. Kiara Sky sent over their new non-C-curve nail tips to me. These are currently not yet released, but I did want to share the news with you guys because they are launching this Friday. So I am just going to be taking a look at these nail tips today. I will also be using the nail tips and doing an acrylic nail set. I feel like I have not done acrylic in forever, but Kiara Sky really does have the best acrylic that I've ever tried. So I thought it would be perfect since these are half cover nail tips to pair it with some of the Kiara Sky acrylic. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at the nail tips. I do want to quickly mention about the packaging. As you guys may know, since I talk about this every single time I unbox a package from Kiara Sky, they literally have the cutest packaging, and I love the pink heart-shaped packaging peanuts. I think that they are so freaking cute and really just make the package come to life. So for the nail tips, I did get sent the clear XXL coffin and square and also the natural XXL coffin and the square. The packaging for these nail tips, it is also such a sleek and such an aesthetically pleasing design. I did get this shot here real quick just because I thought it looked cute with the packaging, the packaging peanuts and everything just about it just made it look so cute. I do want to give a big thank you to Kiara Sky for sending me these nail tips. I am beyond thankful and I just think it is so amazing that these nail tips are not even launched yet but I do have them in my hands and I was able to try them and really get my first impressions on them. So the launch date for these nail tips is June 23rd at 10 a.m pacific standard time. Like I said today is June 21st Wednesday and these nail tips are not yet released so I don't really have all of the information like the price and everything like that but I will be linking these nail tips down below in the description box that way when they do launch you can run and grab them if you do decide you want to purchase them. I also do have my Kiara Sky discount code which is nailed by Brandy 10 and that can be used to when you are purchasing these new non C curve nail tips. And of course, I will have my Kiara Sky affiliate link down below in the description box as well. So all of the nail tips are sealed, which is great. None of the packaging was damaged. You saw all the packaging peanuts. They also had like the bubbles to help fill up the space in the box. So the nail tips didn't move around. The packaging didn't break. And with that extra seal on the packaging, that is really nice as well. Again, the packaging here, it is just amazing. I love the way it looks. It's just a very nice label on the front. I flipped it over to the back if you want to go back and pause that so you can read that. Of course, you can do that because it does share a little bit of information on the back. But these are the Kiara Sky new non-C-curve nail tips. We get 500 nail tips in each box and there are 10 different sizes. Like I mentioned before, they did send me their clear in square and coffin and then they also sent me their natural in square and coffin as well. So it is kind of a personal preference on if you prefer using clear nail tips or natural nail tips. Of course, if you're doing clear nails or something where you're doing an ombre with glitter, more than likely you will want to use the clear nail tips. But if you are applying a cover color or just doing an opaque manicure and you are going to be covering the nail tip, you can decide to use the natural. I feel that honestly, I just prefer using clear nail tips because that is what I have always used, but I do like that they give the option that you can purchase the clear or the natural. So taking a look at the XXL square clear nail tips, you can see here I put out the largest size, which is size zero. The nail tip where you would apply it to the free edge of your natural nail, it does have a pre-etched surface, which I think is very nice. Once you um, 
prep your natural nail and your nail is all prepped, applying these nail tips is going to be so quick and easy, especially when you are using the Kiara Sky Stick It Nail Glue. I also wanted to pull out the smallest size, which was size 9, and just compare the two side by side so you could get a small reference for the size of the largest and the smallest nail tip. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the coffin. Pretty much the exact same thing, but we do have a different shape. Now, of course, even though these are square and coffin, I'm not sure if they're also going to have stiletto or not. Like I said, this is all that was sent to me, and I don't really have all of the information yet just because they are not yet released, but they may also have a stiletto nail shape. If they do not, though, of course, you can turn these nail tips into stiletto, almond, um, a more or tapered square you can kind of customize these nail tips you can clip down the length and really you can change so much about them I do really like that they are an XXL length because you still get the long nails if you like long nails but you can also clip these down if you're taking clients or if you're a nail tech and you're doing all kinds of different people's nails everyone's going to have a different preference so you really have the wiggle room to be able to keep it a very long nail or you can clip it down to be a very short nail you can also clip it down and change it into a almond shape or um, make it more into a tapered square or change it up into a stiletto nail shape so I just really like how these nail tips are able to be fully customized. Another thing that I think is super professional with these nail tips is that not only is the size on the nail tip, but also when I was showing the clear nail tips, it was a little bit easier to see, but you can see the Kiara Sky logo also on the tip of the nail, which I just think is super cool because you can see how professional these nail tips are. Also, with the natural ones, it's the exact same way with the pre-etched surface where you would be applying it to your natural nail and then also having the number and the size or, I mean, the Kiara Sky logo. And then for the natural as well, we get sizes 0 to 9 with there being 10 different sizes. And here is just a comparison. Again, I wanted to quickly show the largest and the smallest size. While I'm showing the Coffin XXL in the natural color, I do quickly want to talk about if I feel these nail tips are worth it. Of course, like I have mentioned already, I do not know the price, but I'm pretty sure that they would probably be the same price as their um, C-curve nail tips. And I do really like these nail tips. Like I said, if I were to purchase more of these, I would just get the clear nail tips because that's just a personal preference for me to use clear nail tips. But I do really love the quality of these. For some reason, I didn't show it on camera, but off camera, I actually took one of the nail tips and bent it in half, um, taking us back to kindergarten for, for a second here. I folded it like a hot dog, if that makes sense, and I got the white foggy line down the center of the nail and then I was able to completely remove that line bend the nail tip back into its original shape and nothing changed with the nail tip um, it still was just as nice it had that same exact shape as before I bent the nail tip and I think the quality of these nail tips are definitely top tier another thing I want to mention is I really had the perfect fit and also just comfort when applying them. I felt like they were very easy to apply. When I found my size, I felt like it really fit me on my natural nail plate. I didn't have to do any customization or any clipping. They just had a really nice shape to them. So of course, I did want to show the C-curve on these nail tips because they are non-C-curve. So on the far right is actually one of the Kiara Sky Square Natural Color C-curve nail tips. And you could see there that it did have a very high C-curve. I'm personally not a big fan of C-curve nails, so I do really love these non-C-curve tips. 
So like I mentioned, these nail tips are not yet available if you are watching this video before Friday, but these nail tips are going to be available Friday, June 23rd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So set your clocks, set your alarms, and be ready for this huge launch, especially if these nail tips interest you and you have been waiting for Kiara Sky to launch some non-C-curve nail tips. So off camera, I did go in with a peel off base coat. Honestly, for this video, I was planning on showing how to prep your nails for acrylic application, just because I don't generally do that. But with a peel off base coat and with acrylic, I feel like honestly, it's never a good match. When I do acrylic nails, I feel like sometimes with my peel off base coat, it doesn't always work as good as if I were doing gel nails. So I decided that I wouldn't prep these nails, but if that is something that you want to see, let me know down below. I could always do another video trying to work something out, or I could also do a shorts on YouTube here, or I could do a short video for a Instagram reel. So just let me know if you need some help on how you should be prepping your nails for acrylic application and I can show you some tips and tricks there. But I had my peel off base coat applied so I was ready to size out my nail tips. I decided to use the clear square nail tips and I went ahead, sized those out, and then I pulled out my Kiara Sky Stick It Nail Glue. So of course, because I have on my peel off base coat, I have to go in with a buffer here and kind of remove the shine from the very tip of my nail or the nail glue is not going to stick. Of course, if you actually prepped for acrylic nails, your nails are going to be dehydrated, they're going to be prepped, and you aren't going to have like a gel base coat on your nails like I have here. So just keep that in mind because obviously my nails aren't actually prepped. That is why I have a shiny gel surface on my nails. But if you are doing a regular acrylic nail set wanting it to last, you are going to want to make sure that your nails are dehydrated and that you don't have any peel off base coat, regular base coat, or top coat on your nails or that is going to interfere with how long your nails are going to last you. So using the Kiara Sky Stick It Nail Glue, it is honestly a lifesaver. I did have a little bit of troubles getting it to stick to my peel off base coat, but again, if your nails are prepped and dehydrated, that nail glue is going to work so good for you. And you, when using it, you definitely wanna make sure the nails are straight and perfectly in place because once you hold that nail down, it is going to be stuck on there. So I went ahead, glued on all of the nails, and then I decided that I didn't want to do super long nails today, especially because I haven't really been practicing acrylic or working with acrylic. So I decided to clip these down a little bit. I still did keep them a pretty long length, but I felt the challenge. I felt like I wanted to try a little bit longer than I usually do when working with acrylic. I know I've done longer acrylic nails in the past, but I have always struggled so much, so I did clip these nails down. I did keep them that square shape, but of course, again, you can change it into an almond or a stiletto, and you can also keep it longer or cut it down shorter if you want. To get the nails ready for my acrylic application, I took a hand file and just filed the free edge just to make sure everything was crisp and straight. And then I am going in with my Beyond Pro Kiara Sky e-file and also the small mandrel drill bit. I have been loving this thing and I am just using it to remove the shine from the nail tip. So once I was all finished with that, I took my Kiara Sky Monomer, Dampen Dish, and also my size 10 acrylic brush. I also pulled out this acrylic color. I'm pretty sure you pronounce it Rosgata. I may be incorrect on that pronunciation, but it is a beautiful pink cover color. I did put a bead on my brush here and kind of tapped it so it would polymerize so you could see the color of it. I am going to be using this color on all of my nails. I am not advanced in acrylic yet. 
I have not gone to nail school. I do not have my nail tech license. I really want to emphasize that because I do not know the proper way to apply acrylic. I don't know really much about the acrylic application at all. I feel like I am a beginner, but I do like using acrylic and I feel like practice makes perfect. I'm learning new techniques every day. I don't really have a specific one bead, two bead. I kind of just go in and apply as many beads as I feel necessary. I do try my best to very get a very clean cuticle. I also like to try my best not to bulk up the nail. Another thing that I have definitely learned is keeping the nail shape the way it was when I first started before putting on any acrylic. So definitely keeping those sides in that also plays a big role in not um, bulking up the nail because you are going to lose your nail shape. For these nails, I felt like I got better as I continued doing the nails. So once I was on my ring finger, my pinky, my thumb, I felt like that, that was when I was really getting better with the overall acrylic application. After I was getting a hang of it and picking up those beads and just really getting a feel for the acrylic, I was just improving each nail as I went. So of course, these nails are not going to look perfect. And honestly, I feel like this in index finger here was the worst one in the entire nail set. But for this nail length and for not using acrylic, um, I have not practiced acrylic like off camera either. I kind of just focus on my videos because I have so much to get to. But I do really like using acrylic, especially in the summertime because I'm able to open my windows, put a fan in the window, and have it like blowing out the horrible monomer smell. That is something that makes me not use acrylic too often just because I don't really like smelling monomer. Even after I'm done doing my nails, just smelling that monomer scent is very, very powerful to me. But... I do wear a mask, I open the windows, and I also do have a air purifier running while I'm doing acrylic nails as well. So doing acrylic in the summer is definitely something that I will try to do more often. I will probably be doing more, especially now that I am a Kiara Sky ambassador, and they are very popular for their acrylic powders, their acrylic brush, their monomer, and I do really love Kiara Sky acrylic. I feel like if you are a beginner and you want to go for it, you know you want to start doing your own nails and doing acrylic nails, I 100% recommend Kiara Sky. I know it can be a bit pricey for a beginner, especially if you feel you aren't going to love doing your own nails. But if something you know is you want to do your own nails, you want to improve your acrylic application, if you want to get better, I do feel go for it because honestly, you will be amazed with how much easier it is when you are using a professional brand of acrylic or just a really high class acrylic. And I have definitely learned that. I've used a lot of different products and Kiara Sky is definitely on my top list for acrylic. I really love their acrylic. I feel like it has improved my acrylic application and I feel like the more I'll use it, the better I get. Um, I was actually really proud of this nail set and my overall acrylic application. I feel like I am getting a lot better now that I am using really good products. Um, this acrylic brush, if you don't want to get anything else, I would recommend this acrylic brush. It is a lifesaver. The acrylic does not get stuck in it. It's really easy to use. And just so everyone is aware, I am using a number 10. I had I've had a few questions about what size brush I would recommend to a beginner. And for me, I would recommend a number 10. That is what I have used and I haven't ever used another size brush, I don't think. And I just think that a number 10 is a good size to start with. I feel like it isn't super big. It also isn't very small as well. 
but this is my acrylic application. I did leave it in real time. The rest of the nails, I'm just going to go ahead and let them play out because I really feel there isn't much for me to talk about, especially because I'm not doing anything in a specific way or repeating anything on any of the nails. I kind of just go for it, keeping in my head not to bulk up the nail, keeping the sides in, and really just trying my best to build the structure of the nail, not making it too thick, not making it too thin, but to really get that perfect structure. Another thing I really focus on on all of the nails is making sure none of that acrylic touches my skin and just making sure I have a very clean cuticle. When you are doing acrylic nails, you want to make sure that none of the acrylic overlaps on your skin near your cuticle because that's when you are going to get lifting and your nails aren't going to last. You want to make sure that the acrylic goes back to your cuticle but doesn't touch your cuticle. I really hope that you are enjoying today's video. Video. If you are, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, give the video a like, and if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below. I will be back once I am finished with the acrylic application.
after finishing my acrylic application, I pulled out my brand new Kiara Sky Dust Collector and I am going to be filing these nails. This was definitely quite the process and with my peel off base coat, I did have my pinky fall off. So for some of the filing, I don't have my pinky on, but I will glue that back on and then file that nail. But I did want to mention that in case you guys noticed that for some reason I didn't have my pinky on. I also want to mention is my thumb isn't on yet because I did do that off camera for a Instagram reel. I do like to mention this but I post tutorials over on my Instagram as well as here so if you are not following me on there make sure you go follow me. My Instagram is Nailed by Brandy and I do have it linked down below in the description box. If you are wondering about the new Kiara Sky Dust Collector I did recently post a video where I did an unboxing for it, talked a little bit about it, and I also did show how to remove gel extensions on my toes. That video isn't really doing well so so I'll go ahead and leave it linked that way if you guys are finished watching this one and are feeling a little bit generous you could go over there watch that video and show it some love. I did work really hard on it especially trying to get the angles of the dust collector really picking up the dust and just overall showing how well it works so it would really mean a lot to me if you didn't watch that video if you could head over there and watch that video and you can also hear some cool things about this new dust collector. I have been loving it. When I was filing these acrylic nails, it definitely came in handy. It was sucking up all of the dust. Of course, I do still wear my mask when I'm filing because that is still really important. But picking up all of the dust and just sucking it in is just so nice to be able to use a dust collector that I really like. It also just is cute because it's blue and matches my nail drill. But for the filing of these nails, I took a hand file and did, I would say, most of my filing with the hand file. And then I also took the small mandrel drill bit and also did this sealing of the cuticle and just some other extra debulking with that as well and then once I was all finished with that I did go in with a buffer and just buff out the nails to make sure they are smooth before applying my top coat. I'm going to go ahead and let the filing play out. I hope it is kind of a satisfying process. I did speed this footage up just because it did take me quite a bit of time to do all of my filing because I do want it to be absolutely perfect even though I don't get there every single time after filing the nails they definitely did look a lot better and I am getting better at filing as well so I am very proud of myself for that. I was finished filing here how the nails are looking I also went ahead and did my thumb off camera again like I mentioned I did that nail as a Instagram reel 
And I am now going to be taking the Kiara Sky Acrylic Top Coat. I'm going to be applying this to all of the nails except for my pinky. Again, I will be doing my thumb off camera, so just keep that in mind. But for all of the nails, I applied a layer of this and went into my nail lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And then I am going to be adding on some rhinestones, some um, flower charms, and also a beautiful silver butterfly charm. At first, I was going to do nail art on these nails, but I decided that because the acrylic application did take me a lot longer than I had expected, and I did have some other content to film this specific day, I did decide to skip on the nail art, but I had something in mind that I'm probably going to do on another nail set just because I had like a good vision in my mind. But for this day, I just knew I was going to run into finishing later in the evening and or even later in the night where I wasn't going to be getting very good end shots of the nails. So I did decide to just keep it simple and use some rhinestones and charms to still make the set a very cute and girly set, but not really take up as much time as the nail art would have taken up especially just because I had more content to film this day and content filming can take up a lot of time especially when I'm doing an acrylic application so I decided just to go with some charms and rhinestones and I actually really really loved this. I did cure the top coat and then I'm using a rhinestone glue and just placing that where I will be placing my charms or my rhinestones and for all of the nails I did just do a little rhinestone placement with some charms, these beautiful flower ones. At first, I thought these flowers didn't change colors, but when I went outside, I did realize that they changed to kind of like a tan or a nudish or maybe it was an orange color. I can't really remember, but in that color zone. And I was hoping that they didn't change colors because I wanted to have like a very pretty lilac purple theme, especially because I'm going to be adding some purple glitter to my pinky. But overall, it really wasn't a huge difference deal for my thumb like I said I did that as a Instagram reel but I did do the same exact thing as I did for my middle finger and kind of just did a cuticle um, placement but more off to the side my ring finger is my favorite I love that butterfly charm and I just love the swirl placement for the index, I did just place some different rhinestones on there. I cured those in place. For each nail, I did pop it into the nail lamp before moving on to the next just to make sure I didn't bump anything or move any crystals around. Once I was finished with that, I decided to take this absolutely gorgeous purple glitter from Kiara Sky. It is one of their sprinkle on glitters. I applied that acrylic top coat to the nail before curing. I poured over some of that glitter. Once I had that glitter poured over, I went ahead and did a full 30 second cure and brushed away any of the remaining glitter pieces. And here are how the nails are looking. I really love these nails. I loved the little touch of lilac purple and I thought what could be better than to try this new lavender scented cuticle oil from Kiara Sky. Well, it isn't technically new, but it is a new scent to me. I have been obsessed with their rose scent but I wanted to try the lavender and I do really like this lavender. It smells so good, but personally, I am still a big fan of the rose scented cuticle oil. I just love the scent of that one, but I went ahead, applied that to my cuticles to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And here is the finished look of these nails. I feel like overall, I did a really good job on this acrylic nail set said I am very proud of myself. The index finger does kind of stand out to me a little bit because it was the first nail that I did and I feel like if it would have been the last nail that I did it could have turned out a little bit better and not as bulky or kind of like wonky looking. But overall, I love the nails. I love how I did all of the um, little rhinestone placements with some flower charms. And just that hint of purple just really makes the nail set. I think this is a super beautiful nail set for summer or just really anything at all. I love it. 
It was also a very simple like design that I did just by applying the charms and rhinestones. Like I did mention about wanting to do nail art, I will definitely be doing the nail art that I planned on doing for this nail set in another video. So if you want to find out what nail art I was talking about, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you are notified when I upload that video. Don't forget about these non-C-curve nail tips that are releasing this Friday, June 23rd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to grab them, definitely set your alarm because it is possible that they will sell out. Here are the outside shots and you can see that the flowers change to an orange color from the purple Really no big deal, but I do wish that they would have just stayed purple since I loved the hint of purple in the overall nail set. I will be linking all of the products that I used and mentioned down below in the description box along with my discount code. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.